distinguishing blue cap in the Royal Cavalry Colours 4 horse number 9, Munafis. So they are the nine runners and riders for race one, the Wath Bar Stud Farm Cup Arab Tech Maiden Stakes. This race for Maiden Purebred Arabians, three-year-olds and upwards. Seven furlongs or thereabouts is the trip for race number one, which means that they start roughly about a furlong of their way down the back straight. Runners to post for race one. And horse number four, Malathique, at the moment, is without uh, Maddie Bishop uh, Peck. She um, was dislodged from the horse about a furlong or, go, furlong or so back, but all the other horses are, are staying with uh, Malathek, and uh, he isn't running uh, loose, thankfully. And Maddie's uh, just in behind them, so hopefully she'll get the leg up back on. They're just down the side of the track, the ledger centre side of the course, by the nine furlong uh, start. So not about a quarter of a mile away from the starting, Gary, but... There is somebody out there trying to, uh, trying to catch uh, Mauathek, but at the moment um, he's just standing still, actually, just in front of the other runners. He's not really exerting any energy uh, as such, um, but he's just evading capture, and in fact he has now managed to get away from the other uh, runners in the field as well, although um, Munafis is actually still with him. The, uh, the juvenile, the three-year-old, making uh, his fourth race course start. Well, they're sort of at the mile start almost now. And the others steadily on their way down to the uh, seven furlong start. Can you give you a rush of betting for this race? Jabal Ali, who was a very promising second at Taunton on his race course debut, has been uh, well supported in the market, open up at even money, but he's gone odds on now. So Jabal Ali being uh, very well supported. Three to one for Al Defeek, who actually finished a place behind Jabal Ali at Taunton on his uh, UK debut. David Turner takes the ride on him. Six to one, the uh, two debutants trained by Jill Duffield, Jamira Palm and Reyes C. Admit, Reyes C really did catch the eye in the uh, preliminaries. It is 12 to one for Vendetta, another race course debutant. Right about 12 to one also for the Siege. She finished uh, fourth in that uh, Taunton race. 14 to one for Mauer. Thiek, the UK debutante, had a couple of runs in France. Of course, Mara Thiek at the moment is actually with stable companion Jamira Palm, just looking for a bit of company by the looks of it. Um, it is 20 to 1 then for the three year old Munafis and 25 to 1 for Hamdani Zaid Al Maha. So they're almost now at the uh, seven furlong start, albeit Mandy Bishop Peck is actually walking alongside Mara Thiek, who um, Technically, is still loose, I suppose. But I think, obviously, just looking for a bit of company. And um, as I say, they're almost arriving down at the start now. So hopefully, Marathik will be uh, caught by one of the starters or indeed his assistant down there at the start. There's quite a few people down there, actually. It looks as though um, they're about to grab hold of the reins, thankfully. So um, that's the plan anyway. And yes, he has now been caught. So the runners are now at the post, Marathik included. We are at uh, post time. Just a little delay here due to uh, Mawathi getting uh, loose and very sensibly, I think, most of the jockeys keeping alongside that horse and making sure that he didn't get loose for too long or indeed managed to gallop loose.
So Monday, Bishop Peck has now got set back on board Mawathik. And uh, the last few checks just been made down at the seven furlong start. One or two of them on their toes. Jamira Palm, she's a little bit on her toes uh, down at the start. One of the three debutantes in the field, all three of them very well bred. We're going to see how the debutantes get on here. Jebel Ali on his race course debut was a little bit green and clueless into the closing stages when he really did get the message and flew home and only just went down narrowly in the end. Behind one of his uh, stable companions. So it looks as though a start may be fairly imminent. I think all the last minute checks have been made down at the uh, seven furlong start. It looks as though the runs will shortly be called forward. The opening race of seven this afternoon, the Wath Bar Stud Farm Cup, Arab Tech Maiden Stakes over seven furlongs. Nine strong field walking into line. And they're off. They race away, and Jamira Palm makes a good beginning along with Munafis towards that one's outside in second place as they race through the first furlong. Two lengths back to find the several companions, Al Dafik and the Siege, who race together. And on that pairing's outside is Vindetta. They're followed by Hamdani Al Zamaha and then Raya C. Jabalali, who's towards the rearing company with Mawathik. They race towards the far corner of the track. Jamira Palm, a narrow leader, with in second place to the outside, Munafis with the green cap. Al Dafik is back in third, being followed in fourth place by Nasir, who just shuffled along around that bend. Reyesi is next, then Hamdani Zaid Al Maha. Jabal Ali, Phil Connington nudging away, but the horse begins to respond towards the outside, taking much closer order. Mawathik is last, but one of Vendetta is now the back marker. They've passed halfway. Just over two and a half furlongs left to travel now, and on the inside, Al Dafik with the green cap and noseband has come through to head Jamira Palm. Jabalali back in third. They're followed then by Munafis as the field begin to string out. Reyesi is next in the field, followed by an siege as they prepare to make the turn for home. Two furlongs left to travel, and Aldafik has the lead from Jamira Palm. Jabalali just caught on heels. Phil Connington, though, is sitting pretty quiet in the saddle. Now begins to nudge away as they turn in. Reyesi is back in third, and they're followed then towards the outside by Munafis. Down the straight, and here comes Jabalali between horses. Comes to press on the inside side Al Dafik. Back in third is Jamira Palm, who's shaping with plenty of promise on race course debut. Into the final half furlong. Jabalali on the near side has to put the race to bed. Al Dafik on the far side is going with him. Jabalali just in front approaching the line, and Jabalali gets off the mark at the second attempt. Beats Al Dafik. They were a few lengths clear from the siege in third. Then Jamira Palm and Reyes C. Behind those Munafis, Mawathik, Hamdani Zaid Al Maha, and the last to finish was Vendetta. Here is the order of finish. First number three, second number two, third number seven, and the fourth horse number six.
walking into line. And they're off. They race away, and Jamira Palm makes a good beginning, along with Munafis towards that one's outside in second place as they race through the first furlong. Two lengths back to find the several companions, Al Dafik and the Siege, who race together. And on that pairing's outside is Vindetta. They're followed by Hamdani Al Zamaha, and then Reyes C. Jabalali, who's towards the rearing company with Malathik. They race towards the far corner of the track. Jamira Palm, a narrow leader, with in second place to the outside, Munafis with the green cap. Aldafik is back in third, being followed in fourth place by Nasir, who just shuffled along around that bend. Reyesi is next, then Hamdani Zaid Al Maha. Jabal Ali, Phil Connington nudging away, but the horse begins to respond towards the outside, taking much closer order. Malathik is last, but one of Vendetta is now the back marker. They've passed halfway. Just over two and a half furlongs left to travel now, and on the inside, Aldafik with the green cap and noseband has come through to head Jamira Palm. Jabalali back in third. They're followed then by Munafis as the field begin to string out. Reyesi is next in the field, followed by Nasij as they prepare to make the turn for home. Two furlongs left to travel and Aldafik has the lead from Jamira Palm. Jabalali just caught on heels. Phil Connington though is sitting pretty quiet in the saddle. Now begins to nudge away as they turn in. Reyesi is back in third and they're followed then towards the outside by Munafis. Down the straight and here comes Jabalali between horses. Comes to press on the inside side Al Dafik. Back in third is Jamira Palm, who's shaping with plenty of promise on race course debut. Into the final half furlong. Jabalali on the near side has to put the race to bed. Al Dafik on the far side is going with him. Jabalali just in front approaching the line, and Jabalali gets off the mark at the second attempt. Beats Al Dafik. They were a few lengths clear from the siege in third. Then Jamira Palm and Reya C. Behind those Munafis, Mawathik, Hamdani Zaid Al Maha, and the last to finish was Vendetta. Stud Farm Cup, Arab Tech maiden stakes over seven furlongs, nine strong field, walking into line.